big wall climbing it's just it's just so so different to just going and, and climbing the, the individual pitches on their own from the moment that you set off in the morning it's really full on It sort of went through stages when I first came all the three months ago now almost. When I had my first taste of it, it seemed like the hardest thing in the world. I could, couldn't even conceive doing doing the first pitch. When you look at the, the route as just a topo, it doesn't seem so bad. And in my ignorance, I broke it down into a day at a sports, like a sports cliff. So I thought, you know, okay, the, they could be quite technical, the 8Bs, and you know, they might not be able to on-site, but at least you can go, go ground up. So my idea for the first day was to come and try and, and go ground up and see how far I would get. And it wasn't very far. And so pretty quickly I realised that you couldn't simply break something like this down into the individual pitches and the individual n number grades of the pitches. It's it's much it's much more than this. So how was the sleeping? <laughs> the sleeping wasn't quite as good as I hoped, but was I think to be expected. And I was just thinking lots. Yeah, I, I had no idea how it was going to go. You know, I could have fallen off the first boulder five times, or I could have made it all the way up and fallen off the top, or fallen off anywhere in between. And So I was pretty, I was pretty nervous, just because, just by the act of coming here again, you, you sort of set yourself certain, certain goals, like, I wasn't coming here to fail on the first pitch again, I was coming to, to do the, to do the route.
at any point until until we were on the ledge. And then even this morning when we woke up, it looked like a nice day and then you started climbing and looking out across the mountains back there. These big black dark clouds were rolling in and I was just hoping that the wind was going to keep them. Tell me about the bivouac. The bivouac? Oh. It's a, a teeny bivouac. <laughs> it's, it's very small. You see from yeah. here to here. <laughs> here? <laughs> and down there is yeah, the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I think it's like so many of these long endurance sufferfest experiences. At the time, <laughs> you're in a lot of pain, kind of waiting for it to be to be over, to be hopefully successfully over. But you're still on on certain levels enjoying it, and then afterwards, just this exhausted bliss. You know, you're so happy with, with what you've achieved it seems like such such a grand <laughs> grand thing to have, have done the entire process to have gone through from start to finish uh, together as a team is it's really nice did you have fun in, in some kind of Shado masochistic way. <laughs> yeah. No, I did. I had, I had a lot of fun. I keep